What is up, everyone? Um, hope everyone's having a solid day. I've uh, had an awesome day on the water this morning. So caught, uh, I think, with my dad actually caught about six or seven bass above 19 inches. So it was it was awesome, huge day. Felt good to get out and get some uh, some good fish. But today uh, it's afternoon. I think it's about 100 degrees now. So inside we'll do a little work on the deck too. But uh, we're gonna make a, a small. Another small lure, that's what I'm king at, just because I think the small size is fun size to make it, especially with a bunch of panfish right now. But uh, we're gonna just make a, it's about a one inch shallow crank, rattling crank. Um, I got a couple pieces of leftover wood here from a uh, pass lure. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna trim this out, make a couple cavities, and basically just make a shallow diving crank with, uh, with the rattle in it. And so we're gonna walk through that process today. Um, Hopefully, hopefully you join me. Uh, I have noticed that a lot of people that watch my videos don't subscribe, so please subscribe. It's, it's helpful. Um, button's right down there, I believe, if, it, if I catch it right there, but no, I'd, I'd be appreciative. So here we go. Let's, uh, let's get to work on this right here. All right, we're gonna try to clear up both of these pieces of wood at the same time. Uh, we'll see how that works. It might totally destroy it, but you never know. Don't know until you try. bit of extra wiggle room down here by the the belly but that's all right so now we are going to start working on taking out some of the cavities to insert two things so we'll insert lead we'll insert a little cavity so that we can put basically a small split shot in there to rattle and then we'll work on cutting out the lip um, but first I'm going to sand the edges this way um, before I make anything round we're just going to sand the edges just to clean it up and then we're going to work with that hardware. I'm gonna use my little carving bit for my Dremel. We're gonna knock out these two holes to start. Um, top one will be the rattle, bottom one will be the weight. So we're just gonna try to carve a, as clean as possible, a little, little space in there. All right, got our cavities cut out. So uh, we're gonna check to see if the split shot rattles in there and then uh, work with some lead and we'll see, uh, we'll see what it looks like next. We've got our lead hole and rattle hole kind of shaped up. So this is just a half a split shot and then the remaining portion of the split shot. So when I seal this just for this portion right here, so it's together and it matches, Hopefully uh, the mic will pick that up, but. You can hear the rattle. So next step, I am actually gonna seal these two pieces together. Um, that'll take a little bit of time. So that way I can combine them. And then I'm actually going to work on it by sanding the edges, make it a little smoother uh, afterwards and I will do 
I'll drill here to put in a line tie. I'll drill back here to put in a hook hanger. We'll cut a slip for the lip, and then I may put a treble in the front too. Um, we'll see just by the final sizes of it all, but we will catch you back once I have both of these pieces of wood. Uh, oops. There we go. Once I have them both sealed and uh, not necessarily sealed, sorry. Once I have them stuck together. So catch you in a bit. We got the two pieces glued together. A slight rattle in there, which is even better because you think about when this is going to be in water, it's going to amplify that noise, even though it's pretty subtle out here. So we are going to trim down the edges with sandpaper, clean up the edge, clean up the front, clean up the back, and then uh, we'll, uh, we'll go from there. All right, got it sanded out pretty well. Um, pretty happy with the shape. So what we're going to do is just finish up uh, a couple of these kind of through wires, but they're not going to go all the way through. But what I do is just simply chuck your wire into what I have is a nice little black and decker drill here and kind of vice it up and just power it on. I go nice and slow. So got three of those. Two hook hangers one line tie and uh, I'll cut those down. Next thing we'll do is actually shave, uh, we'll drill the holes and then we will cut the slot for the lip. And that's gonna be it. We'll seal the wood after that and we'll, uh, we'll get to painting. Cool, got all those drilled. Um, gonna cut the slit for the, the lip now, and then we're gonna start basically fastening all this stuff in. So, we're getting there. All right, so I finally got some actual legit plastic for my lips. Um, so I'm gonna have to sand, sand this out a little thicker. That way that this lip will fit in there. Um, but then the uh, next thing we're gonna do is measure out that lip, cut it out. We got our plastic here that we're gonna make our lip. And I do want this to dive, not super deep, but I want it to dive quick. So we're gonna make it pretty good circumference. We'll actually just use the lid of this Sharpie. All right, I'm gonna switch to a sanding bit and uh, I'll grind that down. Okay, 
So I've got the lip taped off, everything glued in, this wood is sealed. Um, so I wanted to try to keep this pretty simple uh, instead of going super abstract with the paint, we're gonna keep it simple. But um, as, the, as the title says, so we're gonna go with a white base coat first and then we're just gonna kind of throw together a couple different things to make it a nice easy thing that anyone can do at, uh, at home. So come along, we're gonna throw that wicked opaque white base coat on first and then we'll head on from there. I think we're gonna go a little perch, a little perch action on this one. So next we'll hit it with uh, wicked golden yellow down on the belly. So I've stenciled it off with just, this is a, a old piece of window screen and uh, we're just gonna hit the top portion just to kind of give it a look like we're somewhat got some scales on there, but we want to be pretty light, um, pretty light on in this portion right here. There we go. A little pattern on the top, but that's not the finishing point for that. We're going to still keep that green because Perch will have these sidebars that will come down. So we're gonna make a couple of those with this stencil. They're not gonna be perfect. And that's perfectly fine. To finish it off, we're gonna just throw a little black on the top, pearl black, give it a little extra glitter shine on the top, and then that should pretty much do it for that before we put eyes on it and coat it. There we go. All right, gluing some eyes on quick before we get into clear coat. All right, mini crankbait with the rattle is done. So clear coat it and then let's go try to catch fish on it. All right, we are out at a local lake to test this out and uh, see if it works. We are here with the wife. She doesn't want to pay attention, say hi. Hi. Camera shy, but we are gonna See how this works, and hopefully we can get into a couple fish or two. All right, we're gonna try to bring it in close so you can see the action of this. And we'll hopefully be able to show this in this pretty murky water, but. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Nice. Just a bass. Caught it on the lure though, right as I turned the camera on, so that's huge. <laughs> there we go. First bass. That's good. It means it works. Yeah, bigger than the first one. That's clutch. They're like way in tight, right next to the rocks.
pretty good kick to it. And obviously with the rattle inside, it's making a lot of noise. So I'm really happy with this one. Got two bass on it thus far and uh, still got about uh, 45 minutes left to fish it. So let's get after it. All right, nice one to uh, round out the evening so far. We're gonna keep fishing, but there we go. Hope you enjoyed that little uh, sunset time lapse with that uh, with that bass in there. That was nice. That was a clutch catch right there. It has been awesome out tonight. I'm super pumped, super pumped at how that lure turned out. I mean, in all reality, it's a super easy lure that I kind of wanted to go and show you guys in order to make it kind of proof that you can do that anywhere with anything. I mean, obviously I got a Dremel and a couple sweet tools that I've really been excited to use, but that's a little crankbait that you can make out of balsa wood, tree bark, you know, pine bark, whatever. Um, you know, I just happen to have some poplar that I bought from a local hardware store, but um, I appreciate y'all for watching. Hopefully you made it through this and, and, and learned something. Uh, if you did, please comment below what you, what you found out, what you liked, what you didn't like. Please let me know I'm all about uh, positive and negative feedback either way it's feedback so uh thanks again please subscribe hit that like button low uh like button below and uh, i hope to see you on the next video take care everybody